Hello everyone, it is March the 16th, 2015. This article taken from All News Pipeline. Silence of death, Hundred, hundreds of millions of people are going to die, yet the mainstream media is silent. Why? The United Dead Zone of North America. In 2012, there were no less than 465 known mass death events in 67 countries. In 2013, there were no less than 798 known mass death events in 93 countries. In 2014, there were no less than 651 known mass death events in 76 countries. And from January 2nd, 2015, up to today, February 25th, 2015, there are no less than 124 known mass death events in 37 countries and we still have 10 months to go for the final figures. Whether one believes in biblical prophecy or not, there is no doubt that the Bible does speak of events such as these as evidenced by Revelation chapter 8 verse 9, which states that a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. And Hosea chapter 4 verse 3, which states, Therefore, shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes of the sea shall also be taken away. As will be shown below, experts are supposedly baffled. Scientists are puzzled. Events are described as a mystery. Explanations are provided that are easily debunked by hard data. Yet the mainstream media continues to push those very common refrains without mentioning, in fact deliberately avoiding, any mention of the increase in these math death, death events since 2011 when a major earthquake and tsunami hit Japan causing multiple meltdowns at the Fukushima nuclear plant. Multiple lies in the beginning of Fukushima will lead to a massive loss of human life. Quote by Stephen Quayle, February 25th. 2015 via a telephone conversation via ENE News Fox News February 23rd 2015 a heartbreaking and troubling mystery for the third year in a row Johnson they're so thin they're like 15 to 16 pounds they should be 30 to 40 scientists say this year is the worst in history 10 times the normal number of strandings Johnson says, it's obvious that the ocean is changing and the sea lions are sentinels of the sea. They are, they're telling us that there are major changes going on out there in the oceans today. Some of these events are being blamed on the waters being too warm. Others state it is too cold. Easily debunked, but calling it all a mystery without even addressing the huge white elephant in the room named Fukushima even if it is to simply question whether the radiation, by the way there is a new radiation leak from Fukushima, has anything to do with these increasingly frequent incidents, and goes far beyond incompetence and into complici com complicity. By refusing to even acknowledge or ask or even attempt to debunk the Fukushima connection, isn't the mainstream media complicit in any and all ramifications that subsequently happen. Cesium-134, the so-called fingerprint of Fukushima, beginning to show on the American West Coast in October, it was reported that a sample taken about 745 miles west of Vancouver, British Columbia, tested positive for cesium-134, cesium, cesium the so-called fingerprint of Fukushima because it could only have come from the plant. In a recent interview conducted by ANP with Chuck Hinman of Mid-America Land Restoration, who has been documenting the high levels of radiation across America, not only from Fukushima but from America's own nuclear power plants, we, warn, we were warned that since we are the first landmass away from Fukushima, we are clearly in the kill zone, and most of us don't have a clue. And this 
and that this radiation continues its endless journey around the world every 40 days. As of the 2010 census, 36% of the country's total population, 112 million people, 642,503, live in a state that has a shoreline or on the East Coast, and another 15.3%, which rises to 18.2%, if Arizona and Nevada are included. Up to 56.9 million are considered as living off the West Coast. Over half of America's population live in what is considered the coastal plains. The food chain. Take a good hard look at the chart below and we get into how it isn't just radiation effects on human be beings such as cancer, birth defects, etc. that we are speaking about when we discuss the deaths of hundreds of millions globally from the Fukushima disaster. And you can see this picture of the food chain and what's happening. When we see news since 2011 about sea stars turning to goo or the population of bluefin tuna in the Pacific Ocean declining by 95% or sardine, anchovy, and herring populations dramatically dropping or the more recent reports of dead sea lions littering the beaches of Malibu and the collapse of the razor clam population across Kenai Peninsula beaches prompting the Alaska Department of Fish and Game to close most of them to clamming for the rest of the year or any of the other hundreds of reports we begin to understand the, co the scope of the disaster which we are watching happen right now as reports of planktons dying off filter through the internet. From Viva Labs Krill Oil, the ocean is such a massive expanse that it might seem that there is not much order or system underwater. Surprisingly though, it's completely the opposite. Even though there are so many different types of fish, mammals, plants, and smaller creatures that make their home within the ocean, they all depend on each other very heavily. There are several levels of the oceanic food chain. At the very bottom are the many tiny creatures known as phytoplankton and zooplankton. Some of them are small enough to be made up of only one cell. However, these tiny organisms are not to be taken lightly. They serve an extremely important role in the food chain since they make up the bottom level, which is also the largest amount of biomass. In this way, these tiny creatures essentially support all of the life forms that are above them on the food chain. If they were to be killed, diseased, or endangered, it would mean that the fish that normally feed on them would have less food and die off. Think of it as a domino effect. Every level would be affected in turn, and eventually it would even reach humans and the land animals that depend on the ocean for food. Without a healthy ecosystem in the ocean, we would not have fish, crabs, squid, lobster, and other such foods that make up a very healthy part of our diet. Well, I disagree with that. I don't think that these types of food are healthy, but I understand the food chain. At the top of the food chain, or the tree of life, as the diagram below the video shows, stands human beings, affected not only by the radiation in the air and ocean, but by the very food we eat or lack of it because of the animal die-offs. What happened in Japan at Fukushima was a disaster. What has happened since a catastrophe, but what is coming is far worse as it could mean the death of hundreds of millions of people, and the mainstream media or so-called experts calling it a mystery, stating that they are baffled or puzzled are doing so at the behest of those that do not want the public to know the truth. Which leaves us two final questions. How many people are going to die? Who has the most to gain by hiding the truth from us? And you can see this video link, the United Dead Zone of North America. There's a seven minute video here. Then underneath it is Fukushima News 9-15-2014. Fukushima plutonium suspected in Pacific Ocean food chain. 
14 minutes, that video. Then there's ocean plankton infected, global die-off begun, now irreversible, global extinction. That is a 13-minute video. And then here is another diagram of how the animals and plants all affect each other from the top to the bottom and vice versa. And that's the end of the article. But yeah, I mean, there's so many of these deaths going on. And frankly, you know, I wouldn't be eating any fish out of these oceans. I'm a vegetarian, and, you know, I know there's different opinions about that, and I'm not pushing anyone to be a vegetarian by reading this article. But it is something to think about, that what is out there in these oceans, they're dying. Everything is dying. People, animals, children... We're just being destroyed, and I know this is a really, really serious article. Um, I invite you to check out these links. Um, I invite you to get some potassium iodide to protect your thyroid um, from radiation and do all that you can to eat healthy and take care of yourself as best you can. I will link below to this article. I hope you have a great night. Thanks for watching.